Hello everybody and welcome back to Sim Gaming and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. Today we start another brand new adventure here on Culper Park Farm. It's been a long time since I've been on this map and I'm really excited to be back. Looks like Bullet Bill's done a fantastic job. So I really don't want to waste time this time because I really want to get into it and start getting these series out to you guys. So just quickly I'll give you a little, uh, a little tour of what equipment we have. I've swapped out all the equipment that comes with the map to put in our own equipment. And uh, I've swapped a lot of the tractors for one big one, basically. So we have the John Deere 8320R. Um, it's quite a low tractor, but it should serve us well. We've got a front load of stuff here. And I'll show you what tractor that for is for in a minute. Uh, we've got our cultivator there, our plow, our fertilizer spreader there. These are all available from the in-game mod menu, by the way, guys. Um, over here we have... A square baler, because I don't have any baler mods just yet. We've got the Massey Ferguson 5610, which comes with the map. That is what the front loader and stuff's for. We've got a New Holland T6 with narrow wheels on, or as I like to call them, roll crop tires. This is basically just going to be for fertilising this. Um, not really going to use much of it. It's probably the oldest tractor in our fleet, so it's literally just used for this now. And Maybe we'll put the fat wheels back on it, the normal wheels, and just do some like transporting. Maybe we'll do some carting or whatever. And this one's actually an accent, but I've decided I'm going to keep it anyway. This is the Fent 310. Basically, I say this is an accident because this is the tractor I used to help me bring stuff from the store to here. And I forgot to delete it, so it's still here. So, yes, we're keeping it for now. But it doesn't matter that we've got four tractors, because what I'm going to be doing, guys, is if I get the PDA up... How can I use my mouse here? I don't think we can. But I'm going to be using Chantry Farm as well. So we'll basically divide the tractors up between the two farms and we should be pretty good to go. Um, harvester. I'll show you the harvester. So we decided to go with the Fent Harvester just because I've personally never used it before. We went for the smallest one, which is the 6275L. Uh, we got the header to go with it, of course, with the green trailer. I picked the wrong shade of green, but it shouldn't matter too much. And we've also got the It Runner, actually. The IT Runner, the It Runner, depending on what you want to call it. We have it. That's all that matters. Uh, so yeah, that's all of our equipment. Let's jump straight in to today's video. Um, it's not 12 o'clock already, is it? Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to open up the gate here and crack on with field number 8 to begin with. I think this is the field that everyone starts off on. But uh, we're going we're gonna to carry the tradition, basically. Now, what I do want to do is I'm doing it Devon style. In where I lived in Devon, we never actually had uh, tractors carting around following the combine and all that good stuff. We had a different method, which we're going to slightly replicate here. But um, it's not going to be exact because we don't have a uh, trailer, a semi-trailer for that. So, what I'm going to do is jump into the John Deere because it's there. And we're going to pull out this uh, bale trailer and put the container on. So, let me just do that real quick. Right, so we're in the John Deere. I forgot to turn head tracking on. Never mind. We'll do it in a minute. So we're going to pull this steering wheel down. Uh, there we go. It does have IC, of course. And we'll do that. Let's get it booted up. Uh, there we go. So how are you guys doing anyway? Welcome back. Um, so we have officially relaunched the channel now as Sim Gaming. Still call me Simulate. Simulate's fine, but yeah, we're still calling it Sim Gaming because... Uh, reasons, annoying little reasons that people are annoying me with, and uh, don't worry about that, personal details, but yes. Let's go ahead and get this trailer hooked up first of all, because we want to remove that uh, the bale panel if we can. The bale deck, let's call it. Let's go ahead and uh, just unload this for now. We need... There we go. Couldn't remember the uh, what button I mapped it out to on my shifter then, but there we go. Let's get this unloaded. Hopefully you guys can see on the wheel cam there. We are trying to get the wheel cam in. This um, deck's a little bit boggy. When you put it down, it starts to bug out, which is really annoying. Right, so we're just going to drive forward a bit. Because we need to pick up that red container just in the background there. Let's try to do this without crashing into our bale deck. So yes, welcome back, guys. This should be episode number... I'm not sure what order they're going out in, but we have recorded a couple of Chellington videos as well. So hopefully you guys will get them as soon as possible. And uh, how do we do this? There we go. Get this up onto the IT runner here. Here it comes. It's quite a scary sight, that, actually. So basically, you probably already guessed it. In Devon, where I'm from, I need to do this until I turn head tracking on. We basically use... Tra well, not everywhere. I shouldn't say everywhere. The farm that were was around my house 
the farms that were, there, were around my house used to park trailers on the side of the field and just dump into them. We're slightly replicating that. We're just going to use containers and not whole trailers because I didn't have enough money for a truck. So this should do for now. I just got to find a nice place to keep it. Um, I'm thinking this side of the field here, to be honest. Probably should have started the harvest first, but never mind. Just so it doesn't get in the way of the harvester. And looks like we found a decent little spot, actually. We'll probably plonk him down here for now. Let's go ahead and get it unfolded once again, and we're going to leave it here. But before we do that, I actually should probably open it up. Oh, that's not meant to happen. That is not meant to happen. I'm going to try driving forward as it's going down. Maybe it won't get stuck then. Looks like that's actually working pretty nice. Awesome. So before we disconnect it, let's go ahead and unfold the top. Okay, so if you've not seen this uh, this tanker before, this is actually a mod, and I'll try and put it in the mod list if I can. We can open the back door so we can get in there, but we're not doing it this way. We are going to lift up the top, if I can remember how to do it. Right, guys, so we had to turn it around because I didn't realize the door opened up the other way, so we've gone ahead and done it now, and let's go ahead and use our joystick. In fact, do you even see the joystick in the wheel cam? Slow it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and open up the top of the container like so. And that is now ready for us to unload our grain into. Now, you may be thinking, Simulate, why would you do that? Instead of just using a cart like a normal person. Basically, this saves wages and stuff, so we can have just one tractor going between field to field if we've got a lot of harvests going on. But we don't yet, but at least we're thinking of the future. And then, when that's unloaded, when that's full, sorry, we can go and unload it and then bring the thing back and then go unload another field, etc, etc. It's basically just a way of saving money, and it doesn't mean we have to buy extra trailers and have tractors ready to go and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do guys is pack this bale deck away and uh, we'll pull the fent harvester out and begin harvesting that food that we just put the container in. Okay guys, so we have now packed up the uh, that bale deck that we had for the IT runner and now we are in the tiny little fence, which ironically we're not even meant to have, but we do. And we're going to pull the header trailer out first of all. So we've got some fent on fent action going on here. Let's go ahead, reverse, and pick this up. I can't really see because the windscreen wipe is in the way. Probably a bad place to put that fent. Not that anyone from fence going to be watching this, but still. Um, let's go ahead and get this hooked up. Like so. Look forward again. Awesome. So what way is the header facing? Okay. So I'm thinking we should probably put this in the field ready to go because he's never going to get the header through here. Let's just sort of turn diagonally like this. Probably going to be the best solution. Just crash a little bit. Oh, that's a fent. It'll survive. And I think we'll leave it like that. I just crashed again. Good. Wow, I need some coffee. <laughs> right, okay. So let's jump into the harvester real quick. Right. Let's get through this gate. Ooh, turn! Turn, turn, turn! No, missed that horribly. I don't want to crash into the fence there, so we'll quickly reverse out. And try that again, shall we? So yes, unfortunately this is the very, very start of the map, guys. So we have the, the boring part where we have to give do all the stuff that we have available to us before we can start making the farm our own. Now, well, once again, I'm going to assume this is the same as the Massey. So we'll drive forward here. So we can get the header off the header trailer. And we'll jump back into the fem. Let's see if we can pull this away from the combine without getting stuck. Kind of. Dang it. What? Giants, why is this a thing? Why should we have to do this? Right, so we'll get this up to the proper RPMs. And we will be away. So once again, how are you guys doing? I hope you are well. Welcome back to the channel. Now, hopefully, you guys have had daily uploads. I'm really trying my best to get back into the swing of things. I've moved house, got my own little space. So, uh, yes, we should hopefully be able to do this. And here's the container coming up now. Hopefully, I haven't parked it too close to the field. Hopefully, we should be able to get past. Really am missing head tracking. See, every other game I've played, you can actually turn head tracking on whilst in the game. But for some reason, in Farm Sim, you have to quit the game to do it. Um, I actually want to go to third person for this, while we go past here. We've got Miles Room, just wanted to be sure. Yes. There we go. 
So how many headlands should we do? Probably only need about two or three on this uh, particular field. It's not necessarily big, it's just a weird shape as you can tell by the PDA in the bottom corner there. Now, probably very late playing this map by the time this video goes out. Um, yeah, probably late playing it, but as long as we've got some videos out there, we should be fine. And I must remember, actually, to get a uh, to get a thumbnail for this, because I forgot in the last couple of videos. Right, so we're not going to make it around that corner. Our turning circle is not good enough, so let's back up. And we'll go forward again. Go, 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 go! So, but there's a little red thing on front of the uh, header just suddenly appeared a minute ago, which I've not actually seen before. I usually got the right header to begin with, so I'm not sure if that's always been a feature or what, but yes, it just appeared and didn't actually realise it was a thing. This is so weird playing Copper Park Farm again. I should also mention, guys, this is actually not the normal Copper Park Farm that you guys have downloaded. This is slightly edited by Rainbow Dave Gaming, and what he's done is we're not going to make this corner again. No, oh, dang it. Um, in fact, you're about to see. This telephone mass in front right now, um, basically he's took the collisions off it. And some of you may think that's a bit unrealistic, but at the same time, it makes it more course play friendly because unfortunately course play isn't as smart as us, so we can't go around the pole and stuff unless you tell it to by manually recording. But um, also the bushes and the hedges and the fences and stuff don't have collisions either So it's not like it's massively unrealistic because you can just drive through a fence anyway on this map Why, why are we missing bits here? I'm literally driving on the edge look Oh gosh, we got a, we've got a sharp corner here and a really bad turning circle. So this should be interesting actually Yes now the only bad thing about doing it this way guys, the uh, way that I said they do it near me where they drive and unload to a container is you have to go all the way around the field if you'll, for example, get if you get full while you're doing the headland. That's the only bad thing. Why did I do that? You can't see anything out the back of these simulate. So yes, that is if we get full whilst we're doing our headlands, we will have to unload. In fact, I've just come to the conclusion what I'm going to do is unload whilst we pass it, even if we're not full because I don't want to get full whilst I'm like, for example, on this side of the field because we've got to go all the way around. So I think if we unload while we're over there, we might actually save ourselves some time and some effort and uh, less fuel costs and stuff like that. Now, if you're wondering how I'm going to make Cobra Pot Farm and Chellington different, my Let's Plays, so they're both interesting for you guys to watch, um, I'm going to try and make this purely mainly, well, not purely, but mainly arable, Whereas I'm going to concentrate a bit more on animals in Chaddington. I think that's going to be my plans. It may swap. I haven't made my mind up. Haven't made my mind up just yet which map is which, but it looks like I may possibly make Chaddington my animal farm. And we have to reverse again. So yeah, this one's going to be mainly arable. Uh, we've got some good sized fields and all that good stuff. So Chaddington, I'm going to concentrate basically could make Chaddington a dairy farm but with crops because we don't want to do just dairy and just grass and all that good stuff but right okay everybody so we're just approaching the container now for the first time and like I said I'm gonna unload on this round although we're only 35% full that means we should be on 70 by the time we come round again but we're not going to bother risking it we're just going to unload so we'll get to about here there stop Let's get the uh, com much. Should we turn it off or just lift it up? We'll get it turned off. Save it on some power here. Get the pipe out. And I uh, really need to turn head tracking on. I feel so confused without it. And uh, yeah, we'll start unloading into the container for the time. Now, this is actually the first time I've actually ever used this container. So it may not even work. But hopefully it does. There we go. Do I have to manually unload into it or not? Not sure. It'd help if I was actually parked over it. So let's move the camera around a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Ah, oh, cool. So yes, we can load into it. So if I quickly jump up the ladder here. You can see that we're going to unload into this. Once again, you're pretty sure, I don't know why I'm explaining it, you guys aren't stupid. But when this is full, we'll come and take it away. Although it looks like it's going to be a long, long time before this gets full. So we may be able to take it to a couple of fields if we've got another canola one. Let's go ahead and put this pipe away. We'll uh, reverse here into position and carry on with the harvest. Right, 
Let's get her up to the proper RPMs again. And then we'll use our fancy buttons here with drive control to lower it down without actually selecting the implement, which is pretty cool. And we're away again. So, I'm going to continue doing a couple more headlands, and then we'll jump back when we're doing lengths, because I don't want you guys just to be going around in circles a couple of times, so... Um, I may take this opportunity to quit the game and turn head tracking on, because unfortunately, like I just said, you need to quit the game. And uh, once we're back, we'll start doing our lengths, and we may even get a hide worker, so we can start doing other jobs, because I don't want to just do harvesting in the first episode and get off to a boring start. This went a bit wonky here, simulate. Well done. So yes, that's the plan. I'll carry on doing... We'll probably do one more headland after this. Um, we'll jump back and start doing our lengths, and we'll find another job to do for our first episode. So yes, I'll be right back. Right, okay, everybody. So we have just reached the end again. I'm just lining up, and I've actually decided that, despite this is going to be a little bit wonky at first, but bear with me, decided we only need two headlands, really. So we're going to go ahead and create a GPS course here. And let's do all the width is 7.6. That's actually correct, but we're going to knock it down to 7.3 just so we have a little bit of a uh, room to play with. And for some reason, it doesn't like doing diagonal lines. Now, once again, we are going to be missing some lines and stuff because we want to do it as fast as we can. So once we get to about where's my mouse? Once we get to about here, we're going to be have a, we're going to miss some crop off to the left, but then we'll just go back and get it. Should be fine. Let's activate our GPS here, and away we go, hopefully. No, maybe not. And away we go. There we go. So we should straighten up now. Awesome. So once we sort out this mess on the edge here, we should be pretty good to go. We'll do a couple uh, lengths of these once we've tidied up the edges and stuff, and we'll do another job. I'm not sure what the other job is, if I'm honest. We may take a trip down to... Chantry Farm and start maybe doing some mowing, but we've just done some mowing on Chaddington, so possibly not. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe we just continue the harvesting, to be fair. It is definitely something we need to get done, that's for sure. So, and um, we're down to 30 FPS. Why is this? Is this the wheel cam playing up again? Nope, not sure, but we're back up to 60. We had a bit of a drop of frames then. I'm not sure what happened. And we're back down to 30 again. Why is this happening to me? Something's in this direction that doesn't like me. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I'm pretty sure you've noticed. I finally put head tracking on. Uh, I literally just forgot to turn it on in the actual game menu because when I'm playing by myself, I don't usually use it. Let's get this header lifted up here. And we'll go to the left to clean up this mess. We have to do a three-point turn here, I reckon. Right, so let's get this pass here. Now, people were asking about a 698. I didn't I didn't see a 698. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Someone was asking in my last video, why is there a 698 in the background? I don't know. I didn't see a 698, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, I think you're seeing things, buddy. But, as you can see, this is starting to make a lot more sense now once we've just tied up these headland areas. It's a shame we can't. We could be put a high worker on. We might be able to put a high worker on, but I'm pretty sure they get stuck on the uh, on the borders. I'm trying to think of the jobs we can do. We're still at the very, very beginning of our game here, so without having another combine, there's not really much we can do. Now, I actually know what we can do. I've left some equipment down at the store, so I think what we'll go do is get a little convoy going, and we'll uh, go pick up the rest of that. And I think we'll call that an episode because I don't want to bore you guys too much with the harvesting. So we'll quickly get the rest of this lifter up, GPS off. And we'll get this last little missing piece here. Stop! <laughs> Wall of brakes in this thing are bad. And then, yeah, so we'll do this, and then we'll start our lengths down here. Hopefully a hide worker will be able to carry on. I don't necessarily want to start a course play. Let's get this lowered down. Awesome stuff. So, yes, I think I got a mower down there. Um, possibly a trailer as well for the bale for the bales when we finally get round to it. Um, I think I oh know because we got the IT runner. I'm not sure what's down there. I know there's two things down there. I just can't remember what they are. I also don't know how we're missing money because maybe it's vehicle maintenance. Because I haven't actually hired any workers or anything just yet, so I'm not sure why our money's gone down. Right, 
Right, so we're just coming up towards the end here, guys, and uh, awesome. Right, so let's do a poll, actually, guys. We're going to do a poll. We haven't done the poll for a long time, so what map do we, I can't really... Yeah, what map do you want me to concentrate animals on? Do you want me to concentrate the animals on Cobra or Challington? There'll be a poll in the top right corner now, if I remember how to do it. Um, ooh, we just got into a bush. The turning circle is cut. Come on, is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yes. Anyway, as I was saying, there'll be a poll in the top right corner which will let you just pick Channington or Cobra for which we do our animals on. Um, right, so guys, so we're back in the fen. We just dropped off the header trailer there, look. So we're going to take the fen and the... not the New Holland, because that's on narrow wheels. We're going to take this and the Massey Ferguson down to the store and collect whatever it is we've got down there. I'm just going to double check to see what it is, actually. So we've got... that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Right, so I just remembered what's down there. It's actually our seed drills that are down there because I didn't have enough tractors to bring them back to begin with. So we've got two seed drills and our front mower. So yes, we're going to quickly put this and the Massey on to a little convoy down to there. So I'm thinking we could probably... There it is. Hopefully one of these has a front hitch. Yes, they both do. So we'll bring one back with... We'll bring about one seed drill each, and then hopefully we'll have enough horsepower to just carry the front mower back anyway. So we'll quickly jump into this again. Awesome. Don't know why our four-wheel drive and stuff's on still. Let's get our beacons on. And we'll start going down to the store. This one doesn't actually have beacons, which is a bit annoying. Yes. So anyway, actually, this is going to go out after Christmas. I just realised I'm actually filming this on Christmas Eve Eve. So tomorrow's Christmas Eve and then the day after that. Actually, no, technically this is Christmas Eve now because it's 20 to 1 in the morning. So technically it is Christmas Eve. So tomorrow's Christmas Day. Dang it. So this is going to go, off after, this is going to go up after Christmas Day. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas, got everything you wanted. I hope everyone that wanted Farm Sim 17 has Farm Sim 17 now because I know there are still a few of my viewers that didn't quite have it. Because they're telling me on my live stream that they have to wait until Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to you guys, um, from me. I actually want to record another episode if I have time, because I want to do one more on Goldcrest Winter Valley. So hopefully that video's already gone out, even though I haven't recorded it just yet. Hopefully that video's already gone out if plans go to... plans go well, basically. Come on, Massey. Keep up. Right, okay, everybody, so we're just coming up towards the uh, the store right now. Let's take it off cruise control. Let's make sure the Massey's still there. Yes, he is. Cool. Ooh. So hopefully these guys are big enough to carry this, like I just said. Um, I think... I think we'll drive the Massey back. So what we're going to do is tell the Massey to wait there whilst we load this guy up. And we'll take the heaviest seed drill back with this guy. And then we'll put the smaller seed drill and the front mower on to the back of that one. So let's quickly reverse this up into here. There we go. It's got this backed up. Let's move it over here whilst we get the Massey Ferguson all set up. I actually saw my first ever drop nose in real life the other day, guys, on the uh, motorway, and I got him it. I did nearly crash because I was like, wow. Look at the window and then turn around and saw there was a truck stopping in front of me. So, luckily I didn't crash. Touch wood, I don't. Ever. But still. And um, we have to go this way. Yes, we do. So now the fence ready to go. Let's go ahead and we'll use this front mower as a front weight. If we can. Let's quickly back up here. So yes, I did see it on the motorway. It was going the opposite direction. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I dropped those. My girlfriend wasn't impressed at all. Because it's attractive to her. She doesn't really care about tractors, but I was very amused. Right, so that's the front mower on here. Let's go ahead and jump into cab again so we can see what we're doing. So yeah, as I was saying, my girlfriend wasn't impressed because it was just a tractor to her. She doesn't know what a Massey Ferguson is. She doesn't know what a drop nose is. To her, a tractor's a tractor. They're probably all the same to her. But still... 
Let's go ahead and get this loaded up. Lacquer de sel. Awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and turn. Now, I don't know why we actually bought this Cedro. We bought it because we had money to begin with. We just crashed a little bit. It's all good. Uh, we don't actually have a header to harvest any of these crops. Sunflowers, corn, all that good stuff. So I'm not sure why not sure why we bought this, but never mind. So yes, we're going to drive the Massey back to the farm. We'll get the Fen behind us. There you go, buddy. Follow me. Ready to go? Awesome. So that is it, guys. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, we don't really have much to do, unfortunately, because it's the start of a new map. We've got to do get rid of all the fields that bullet builds give us, and then we'll start doing our own thing, and it'll get a lot more interesting. I promise you that. So if you did enjoy this episode, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot and helps me release videos. Hit subscribe if you want to see more from myself. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.